Hey everybody, it's Joanne. Love you. How you doing? Welcome to Joanne Ralston Art. Um, I don't know if it was the last video or the video before, but I used my new kissing cup. And it's the one that's in the shape of a heart and it has the special lip. I want to play with it again. I'm, I'm fascinated by it and fascinated what it can do. And, but this time I'm gonna pour and then I'm gonna spin it rather than tilting it and see what happens. Of course, you know, you'll pretty much get the same effects, but it'll stretch it out different. So that's what I wanna do. And I've got a whole bunch of colors that I've mixed up and gotten ready. And um, I'll show you those as we go because I've got a lot. And we're gonna make this really colorful. So let me bring you down to the canvas. Thank you. I'm gonna start out. This is, oh hit my spinner. This is Arteza Pearl White. So this is going to be my white for today. And I'm going to start with white on this side. And then this is Paraj Posse um, Black Ice Metallic. And I'm going to put it on the other side. And I have mixed these. These are probably uh, a mound on a mound and they disappear. Cause I wanted, um, I like pouring with thick colors. All right, this is TLP Grenache. I love my TLPs, as you all know. Let's put just a smidge more. Okay. This is Deco Art Deep Sapphire. I'm gonna put it on the other side. And this is TLP Lagoon. And I think I'm gonna put it up against this sapphire. And then, um, this is Deco Art Emerald. I think we'll put it up against that Grenache. Red and green. Oh, I hope that's not a bad mistake. This is TLP Submarine. Hmm. Let's put it there. Then this is TLP Zeus. Like I said, this is going to be really colorful. Next. Let's see, let's put some black on this side. Oh, I got some on the, and put some white on this side. Yeah. And then we'll follow up with this is TLP's Constellation. Constellation. Make sure I say that right. And like I said, as you can see, my paints are basically a mound on a mound. And let's put some 
Renosh again. Um, let's put Blue Lagoon over here. Um, I'm trying to remember which side I put what. <laughs> This is the sapphire. This is the emerald. Um, let's put some submarine in there on this side. I'm probably living dangerous with all these colors, but I don't know. I like to play with colors. It's fun. All right, let's put some of the white on this side. And let's put some of the black on this side. And what color should I go next? Let's put some of the Constellation. And aren't you impressed? I don't have any gold. I just have the Zeus. Speaking of, let's put some Zeus. Have some Zeus. Um, let's put some more Grenache. This cup holds a lot. <laughs> And some sapphire. Let's finish getting this side up to where that side is. Even it out. That's about right. And let's finish it with a little white. little black. Alright. Let me set those out of the way. Cover that one up. And I forgot to put my supernova in there. I had a pink which was supernova. All right, that's a pretty cup. Now, do I wanna do a travel or do I wanna do a straight? Hmm. Let's kind of do a straight, but move the canvas up and down. And I'm going to try pouring a little high. And see what happens. Oh, I'm not good staying in the middle. <laughs> oh, my paints are thick. I knew they were. Like I said, they're about a mound on a mound.
Oh, but it's pretty. Pretty colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Now let's see if I can do something in the center and get the rest of the paint out. Just kind of go curly. And dismount her. Ah, that's different. That's what I like, different. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put flow extender on it while that's setting. I'm using my slop bucket again. Now let's just move it around and then we're going to spin it. And hopefully we'll cover the whole thing. The only thing about the slop buckets <laughs> and putting a flow extender, um, <laughs> it ends out back on the table. For you to use again. I'm gonna take it to each end so that when it spins, it won't have such a hard time covering the ends. I'm looking at this, wondering if I should wreck it, but I kind of like what's going on. So I'm not going to. Let's spin this some more. And then if we need to, we'll tilt some more down to the ends. Because I don't want to leave negative space with this ugly gray. Spreading out nicely on that one end. Let's... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like where everything is right now. There's so many ways when you pour from a cup that so many designs you can come up with. I mean, you can pour high and it creates more of a feathery look. You can pour low and you get some bolder type cells. You can turn in a circle, you can pour it straight, you can pour it zigzag. 
you can pour it across the canvas for travel. You can twist it any way you want it to go. To, the, the designs are just, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word. Endless is one word. There's another word I'm trying to think of, but I can't think of it. Um, but, but you've got endless possibilities of how things are going to come out. And you can use two colors, you can use three, you can use four, you can use 15. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. And you just don't know how it'll turn out till you're done. All right. Is that in the center for you to see? Check it out. I got bolder cells. I got little cells. I've got a cool design here. It's kind of very oceany. But what you might see down in the bottom of the ocean. But, oh, I'm anxious to see that dry. You've got pretty lines here of the different colors. And if you look into the designs, you can see all the colors that I put in there. This corner, let me see if I can make sure you're seeing it. This corner right here has a lot of the colors. There's the Zeus and the sapphire and the emerald and the grenache a little bit watered down uh, or mixed in but there's a lot there and also over in this corner really neat i'm glad i did it that way i like it a lot Hi everybody, check out the dry results on this. Is it not cool? That white in there just looks like little, I don't know, lights through it. When it was wet, it kind of still does, but not as much when it was wet, but right through here looked almost holographic but it's got some 3D effects in here. It's like this is bulging out from that. It's really cool. And look at this corner. Oh, I love that corner. The other corners are close to it. But I got a lot of boulder cells. Guys, I'm telling you that mix pour pouring medium does all this and it's awesome you see there's that corner it's got some lines of color and look at the color in there there's green highlighting those shapes and the white highlighting it just looks really neat there's that corner. I really, really like this one. And there's that corner. But check it out. Well, tell me what you think. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment, tell me what you think. If you're new, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. And everybody take care. And take care of each other. Spread the love and spread the love of art. I love you guys. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much.
Bye-bye.